Okay, Aries. You are up. But I'm feeling a little like I don't know that I, I don't know what deck I want to use. This is gilded. I'm wondering if I should use Royale. I don't know. I can't figure it out. Maybe. Maybe. That's gilded. This is real. I don't know. I feel a little. Hmm. What was that? Oh, my shark pen. Aries, what is going on? Feeling a little bit relaxed. Not really sure. Not caring. That's a very interesting energy for an Aries. You guys do everything with passion. Somebody letting go of control? Okay. That's fascinating. Aries. Tell me about this feeling we have for Aries. Just give me one card and then we're going to move on from it. Okay, let's just give like a quick explanation why it is we have this feeling coming over, coming over Aries. It's a good feeling. What is this? And where did it come from? Judgment. This is so relaxing. Somebody's deciding they want to do something different. They want to do it right. They want to do things the right way. It's almost like the hands of the vine came down and said, no, don't do it like that anymore. Do it this way. Somebody feels good. They feel happy. It's like somebody is learning to release something. <sighs> wow. Aries, this is, this is quite beautiful. It's a very different energy that I'm, than I usually get from Aries, from an Aries reading. to cause this what happened to cause this is remarkable <sighs> queen of swords queen of pentacles knight of swords something about these could be a few different people but also of energies. Something happened and it quickly changed the way that you see something or think of something. You might have seen how something that you did, the actions that you took, how things that you do are reflecting back to you. Like a mirror. Okay. I'm definitely seeing somebody going from one energy to another. But it's a fast transition. Okay. So going from a queen of swords, which can be very harsh and abrupt and just very sharp and direct, often painful, useful, good, but painful to something a little bit more light and delicate. Okay. So somebody is probably wanting a lot less wind or air. And a lot more nurture, gentleness, lovingness, kindness. The Queen of Swords has that energy. You really got to look, sometimes dig to find it, to find that sensitivity, find that, you know, 
they do things very, very sharp, sometimes hazardous. They go the long way around things. It takes a truly enlightened soul to often see how the harshness of this person, the Queen of Swords, is actually a gift of love and concern. Whereas the Queen of Pentacles, the energy from that is something that is always gentle and sweet. It's completely on the surface. The heart is on the sleeves, the feelings. You know exactly where they come from, where they stand. And they reap based off of that. Okay. This one's, again, not that one's better than the other. They have a different way of operating. Somebody is looking at a different way of how it is that they're operating. And they're wanting to change that. They're making a judgment on themselves, but also probably from past actions. And something is very, very fast about it. This is dominating the reading. So this is where we're going today, Aries. And it's, it's exhilarating. Justice. Somebody's definitely saying, okay, so this is so, such a roundabout thing. So this could happen in, in a multitude of different ways. However it is, it's manifesting in your life or somebody else's. Something happened where somebody actually saw the results of it quickly. They saw the results and they're like, ah, of course. I did not know this before. Now I know. Okay. It's like that. They're understanding something about karma. And they're wanting to bring certain things in their life back to balance, peace, and harmony and to restore Devil, Nine of Wands. So, in the Gilded, sometimes cards can have a different interpretation or meaning than traditional. There's still the hint of the traditional. But when I'm seeing this, this is a card of movement. Okay? So, it's like a displacement. Somebody's realizing something about the dis their displacement of this energy, of the devil. This anger. Somebody's learning something about their wounding. And how this has created certain obstacles in their life. Okay? And probably even resentment from others. Where they've always had to fear or place themselves into a position of having to defend all the time when it's probably not even necessary. It's kind of like having, having somebody, you know, whether it's a certain, you know, just an example, like one person of a certain color or race did this to me. So all people are like that of that race, okay? It's like saying one man, you know, violated me, so all men will violate me. Okay, it's having that induction, inductive reasoning. Yeah, I think so. It's where something happened and the behavior had been learned. But it's not fully accurate. I don't know where I'm getting mom might be confusing something. I'm trying to I'm trying to remove the brain and just let the let the you know, that's what it is. Somebody's trying somebody needs to remove the brain. Somebody thinks too much about certain things. They need to remove the brain, the thinking part of it. Because whatever it is that somebody has trained or learned themselves is not truth. Okay. No two people are the same. No two, no two experiences are technically the same. 
You're not going to get the same thing from everyone. Okay. That's a solitary or it's, it's a, um, it's an incident that, um, it's an incident, whatever the incident was, you can't blame everyone for that. Okay. Not everyone is the same. We're just going to leave it at that. King of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Somebody's seeing something about a lot of people in their life. How certain things, maybe certain things have manifested, whether it's, you know, from different people, whatever it is, maybe their actions have caused certain things to different people. I'm seeing somebody, ha it's like really, really fl reflecting on a lot of things in their life. All right. This is where we're going today, Aries. reminding me of um you know like you know, when I was a kid my mom very very loving mother you know she was a cancer uh so <laughs> my mom and dad both so I know cancers very very well I love cancers they're so wonderful loving nurturing but they can be whew, cranky you know having two parents as cancers is very interesting <laughs> So I learned a lot of love, but you know, with that in mind, I'm remembering something that my mom had told me, you know, and I remember laughing so hard because of what it, it the way that she said it, it, it just, I, I laughed even for years and something about the way that she did when I was a kid, when she responded to something, you know, she was very harsh. She said, like, everyone ran when my mom, <laughs> you know. And then as she got older, she was like, I was like, I can't believe, I was like, what, you know, I used to tease my mom a lot, joke with her a lot. And she did something, I was like, I can't believe that you're, what, you're not acting, you know, yada, yada, yada. She was like, I turned a new leaf in life. And I thought that was the funniest thing I ever heard. For one, I had never heard that expression, but two, I was like, you? <laughs> You're not losing your mind over this. It, it was the funniest thing. But it was really, really sweet and adorable. Um, you know, I tell people, you know, growing up with my mom, whew, reminds me of a, a comedy um, years and years ago. I'm not going to mention the comedian's name, but he used to be a very, very brilliant comedian. Um, but he's not very, very liked anymore, so I don't want to mention his name. Um, but it's sticking out to me. Okay. So people would always, you know, when they would meet my mom, they'd be like, your mom is so sweet. She's so nice. Oh my gosh. It was, I was like, hmm. my mom, when I was growing up was a bitch. You know, she was just, woo. Okay. And it reminds me of the comedian, you know, the person that you're looking at is not the person I grew up with. You're now looking at an old person who wants to get into heaven now. It's a running joke. Okay. Maybe some will find that humor, you know, whatever, but you know, it's kind of the same thing. Somebody's definitely going to be changing something about themselves. It's, it's, it's going to be like really incredible. Okay. Maybe somebody has reached some sort of a level of a different kind of a maturity or understanding and learning about certain things about their actions. You know, wanting to become more like the, um, the alchemist, realizing certain things about themselves. It's a long road ahead, but it's to create some kind of peace and harmony and restore happiness. Maybe even to somebody's home. Somebody is definitely going to be reflecting over a lot of things in their life, a lot of things that's going on. I think somebody has a different outlook, whether this is you, Aries, or if this is somebody else that you're dealing with. It feels like it's the Aries energy, though. And it's quite beautiful. Okay. It's very, very different. It's a very different energy. So there could be something that uh, the Aries is uh, going through. Learning from another person or 
turning a new leaf in life. All right. That's what I got. I'm going to leave it there. This is just a, such a beautiful message. All right. That's it, Aries. If you like the message, why don't you give me a thumbs up? And um, give me a follow. Or subscribe to the channel, I should say. That's a TikTok thing. <laughs> um, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to book a private rating, the info is going to be down in the description in order to contact me, in order to kind of get the ball rolling in that direction. That's it. I'm going to leave it there, Aries. Good luck. Have a good weekend. And uh, I'll see you around.